Either of the two right lanes. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. Even though Garmin. Traffic light. Nope, nope. No, I don't need to. I don't need to turn right at a traffic light because it, this is looking like it's. I turned it off because I think this building has got to be Walmart. There's a. This seems like a really good chance. They didn't put up any signs. Yep. Okay. All right, uh, I think I want to take a right then, because I see the semi-truck trailers. Oh, no, I should, ah, I'm right behind Walmart. I guess, oh, we got speed bumps. I'm just following this car, oh my god, that's a big speed bump. I didn't realize, I, I really didn't study the map close enough to know which side is preferable. These are big speed bumps. Oh, Almost scraped the bottom on that. Okay, I think I want to just take a turn into here. Whoa. All right. Uh, just going over here. And this is not the side I want to be on. As far as I believe. Oh, I don't think I want to be on this side. It's so active through here. I'll just be dealing with a lot of traffic. There's this old uh, store that's abandoned right next to the Walmart here. And I think I'm going to take a, par a little parking space right on the lot here. It'll keep me out of the... Out of the the traffic lanes. All right, Wheeling, Illinois. Wheeling, Illinois. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I forget how uh, this is supposed to go for uh, shifting. I put it in rear shift and. I have the clutch all the way pushed in, yet the car still wants to move. I forget how that's supposed to work. It's hard to put it in rear shift. But all right. Um, yeah, the uh, area, whoo, that's a big pothole. That would do some damage. This area is, um, the water is no good in wheeling. The, wa the tap water shut off at Walmart. They got a, an extensive right, water jug replacement. I don't even think uh, Walmart sells filtered water. I think it's just only water jugs, water bottles, and that's it. They have to truck it in. The next city over, the water is fine. It's just every other city has bad water or every other city has good water it's uh it's made up of certain people i mean what does it come down to does it come down to the water like how they how they treat the water treatment i'm not sure uh a curve to the left i guess i'll get in the left lane i don't know how busy it'll get Because I don't, I don't want to be caught in a crowd having to take a left. Somebody's proud to be Irish. I'm entering Lake County. Yeah, it's uh, very ethnically diverse. I think I heard two or three languages at the Walmart. So there's not a, there's no overhearing conversations. I find that interesting too. You know, you don't you don't just overhear a conversation and say, "Oh, I heard you guys talking about such and such." No, they're talking different languages, so it's all secretive. Secondly. And that's that's what I suspect is causing a lot of miscommunication and a lot of problems. People don't uh, share the same language, then we don't we don't share the same the same ideas. 
So you're going to have a lot of confusion. And I think that's what's happening with the water. There's, in the news, I saw they reported that it's there's a racial discrimination with the water. I don't know about that. I think there's uh, another issue going on. What? Get on the right lane? What is the speed? 45? Okay. At first, I thought it said curve to the left. So I get in the left lane, and then it's saying you kink to the right. All right, now I got a left in 1.5. Okay, so it's 45. The big dome. I'm just looking for a park. This looks like a pretty okay park, but uh, I, I'm I uh, I chose the one that looks more remote. Okay, he's mowing the mowing the road. All right, I guess I want to get into the left lane then for the left. It's just uh, the way the road's set up, it's, it's hard to tell which lane is the proper one to be in until the last minute. Ooh. All right, 45.7, there's a curve up ahead. Okay, and on that curve, I take a left. Three ninety nine at Casey's. Yeah, I am moving more to the outskirts, heading in a wester west direction. I left where that bus is turning, or is there a stoplight? Okay, yeah, the stoplight, then I take a, a left where that bus is turning. To comment on my driving, call 833-MY-DRIVING. It's a double stoplight. Yeah, that was a long wait, a couple of minutes. All right, immediately. Long Grove Business District. Uh, ooh, okay, making it easy. 30, home safe, home child proofing. All right, two miles straight away. 25. Yeah, it's got kind of a more of a remote feel. Setting up for a party this weekend. There are tents. Oh, stop. Free parking. Yeah, I didn't really look for any libraries around here. Get some kind of covered bridge to the left.
All right, it's 25. Wow, their wagon's just down to the wheels. All right, uh, 20, huh? It must be like 30 at this point. No, it's still 25. Okay. They got the speed limit down pretty pretty low or through this area. Up to here, end school zone. Okay. Still looking at 25. 35. There's mowing the lawn. Okay, got a mile. Now I'll reach that park. They got a gate for their house. Big, like mansion on a hill. I'm holding up. I'm only holding up three cars right now. It's still 35. They all want to go like 45 and 50. All right. I look for a turn in my my left side. Seven. Uh, let's see. Okay. Woodland Nature Center, not quite. I got a left here. They should have a sign or something. Okay, there's a sign on the right. Uh, let's see. Iron Creek. Maybe not. There. Heron Creek. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming this is it. Twenty MPH. There's a few cars here. Trail crossing. I think I could go in a little bit more. There's two cars here. Bathroom. I think I saw a bigger parking lot further in, so let's continue. All right, if I can park away from the playground, I'll try that. There's a cop. I don't know. Can I go further in? There's a cop watching the speed limit here. Huh. So I guess there's enough enough people. Uh, so I don't know. I want my door facing away from the road. Maybe maybe like right here. This cop's not coming at me. All right, I left the park. I'm going to a Walmart. North of here for the night. Oh my God, they're stopping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even see brake lights. They just stop and they, I don't even see brake lights on this guy. There is no change between night, night uh, rear lights and brake lights at all. Forty-five. 
Yeah, they're in a hurry. I have a feeling that driving is going to be kind of crazy all along the whole Michi Lake Michigan coast. Okay, Buffalo Grove has got 43,000 people. Wow, I got a ways to go still after this left. <laughs> okay, great. No train horn over the tracks. It looks smooth. Oh, not bad. Big curve. Yeah, this is a very wavy road. 35, okay. Got a few miles here, a couple of miles. Right. Two miles. Very hilly. Okay, still thirty five, six seventy elevation. Nobody behind, nobody in front. Oh, well, that's a relief. Uh, no trucks. Uh. Walmart, on the right. Okay. Stop, huh? This looks like an abandoned business. We are closed. Please shop at nearby something. No, Walmart's not too far away. Why don't I just park here? All right, Vernon Hills, Vernon Hills, Illinois. All right, I did sleep here last night. I pushed the car uh, this this far back, um, just like five, six, seven parking spaces, just for a little exercise and fun. I think I want to return here and sleep. It's just like nobody's bothered me. Nice and dark, peaceful, clean, quiet, everything you could want. Okay, uh, okay, okay, I think I know. Uh, there's a lot of back road driving around here, and my route is pretty back roads. No, I don't think I do. I want to pass in front of the target. That's what I studied. I studied the map. I got a lot of back road mo movements here to make. I just want to stick to the script to get to the library, which is about a mile away. Could walk to the library, leave my car, and just walk. But I don't think that I want to do that. I don't like that idea. I think I'd rather just move the car. So I go in front of the target here, pass by in front of the target, and then uh, I cross the street. To a straight, straight across. I go straight. That's a tall building. Okay. Pretty tall building. Bears fit. Oh, Chicago Bears. Yeah, there's there seems to be people who like the Bears a little bit more around here. Target. I could just park at Target Park a lot tonight too. That would be that'd be possible. Oh, I got a stoplight. Wow. All right. I want to pass.
pass straight through. I don't want to force rights. Okay. On red. I was wondering why that person wasn't turning behind me. I just finally figured, realized that I was quite a wait. All right. Now I I look for the left. As long as nobody's really following me, I can take my time here. It's such a back road, weird parking lot. I gotta go through another parking lot. No parking two to six. I think that's easy to manage. Probably more for snowfall. Well, let's see. A lot of weird businesses around this library. Uh, hospital, uh, advocate, condo, outpatient, kinder care. Mm, ooh. All right, I'm confused already. I think I should go straight. Yeah, I should go straight. I'm a little surprised uh, to see a, a stoplight, though. I'll go straight. Yeah, I just mark, just mark the library. Oh, you want me to go all around? Okay, now this is the weird one. Garmin, Garmin does not recognize the parking lots. Do not enter. Okay. Uh, all right. Victory Center, supportive living senior apartments. Okay. Now, uh, I believe I want to take a right here. Dear and go through the, second left. the parking lot. Okay, so they got some work being done. Can I drive through here? Do not enter. Okay, maybe not. Was this it? It's a do not enter area. They got five signs. Sure. Six. Then take the first right. They got six signs that seven signs, six or seven signs that say do not enter. But the the thing is, the library is right there. What are they? This is all private. This there's no cops. I think the library is right on the right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter. They got seven, eight, nine, ten signs. And the library is right there. And I don't... Okay. 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 You just got to sneak through here. They got gates they can close. <laughs> Good. To stop the people like me. They got seven do not enter signs. Oh my god. Okay, but the library is right here. Alright, see, I, did, I didn't see those signs on the, the Google Maps. Um, and I mean, yeah, it looks like a good pathway, but, uh, yeah, a lot of other people have also seen that and the, the hospital community, it's a community center. The community center doesn't like it when people pass through. Okay. Um, uh, I think I like to park like here and back in and then, uh, this could be a good spot to park for the day. There looks like a lot of places to walk around. So seven signs can't stop me. All right, I'm at the library in Vernon Hills, Illinois, and I'm I'm just eyeballing this this little uh uh sidewalk i think i could just drive across on this <gasps> oh it, it was a i hit a little bump got right through though wow easy as anything that is a shortcut for me <clears throat> and then i take this uh, parking lot, I don't even need to stop really. This is all private. They have gates, they don't close. Most people don't do that type of driving. I'm 
sure, but why did they make that sidewalk so wide? I, they made it wide for vehicles, I believe. It's not a regular walking sidewalk. But yeah, I'm like eyeballing that thing, looking at my car, my narrow, small car, which can almost rival a golf cart size. All right, but yeah, I'm going to go back to the same parking spots because I really am unsure of where else to go. I mean, tomorrow I, I see a park I want to go to. I want to stick in the area. And there's a park nearby. Because there's actually some cool stuff to look at around here. Trader Joe's, the mall, Whole Foods, Best Buy. They got a lot of neat stuff I'd like to just look at. And this park isn't far to the north. So I'm very interested. And I'm just kind of going off of memory on... Uh, Getting back to my parking spot here. Ooh. All right, so I don't want to get in any accidents. All right, streets. I think I like have to go through one more traffic light. 30. I I think I'm missing my my turn. I think I'm missing my turn. I, I think I'm I think I'm confused and lost at the moment. Target. Oh, there it is. I was I couldn't see the sign. The tree was in the way. I I second guessed myself and and just took a right. So now I got pressure from behind. I want a left at the next left. If there is another, oh, I'm going past everything. Oh, I've made a mistake. Okay. Oh, here. Go. This is nothing. This is nothing here. In fact, I'm probably going the wrong way. I made a terrible mistake not trusting my instincts. I think I'm just driving. I think this is all, this road is all dedicated to the post office. Oh, man. I was looking for a target sign. All right, I need to check the map. Hard to make a right turn. Hard to make a right turn, let alone a left. All right, do they discourage U-turns? Because I got a U-turn. Oh, just missed it. Vernon Hills, Vernon Hills, Illinois. All right, so I paid about $22 for the seatbelt extender. And I started up the car without having my seatbelt on and it my turn right then take the first right my dashboard did not start beeping at me so turn this right the stop sign seatbelt extender does a little bit more than just extend the seatbelt it stops that stupid ding that's annoying wow what a line of cars All right, I want to go to a park north of here. And the the part of the park I'm choosing has uh, is cricket grounds. So the Indians are prominent in that area, this area, and right. they have cricket grounds. Take the first left, uh, turn left at the stop sign. It almost gives the impression that it's private property, but Google Maps says it's not because it showed the boundaries. So I expect it to be pretty good.
for the the grounds. I expect the grounds to be public where I want to park. There's a train track nearby, so I'm sure that'll uh the train tracks usually open up areas pretty decently. Turn right on Lakeview Parkway. But yeah, even though it says that it's a private property and gets towed, no overnight parking where I was. It's pretty relaxed. I might park in this Target parking lot tonight just to change things up a little bit. I'm sticking around this area because I keep debating. Lakeview Parkway. I keep trying to look into ways to get to the city center of Chicago on bicycle without any problems. And I think I'm seeing something. Uh, but, uh, you know, and I would consider going tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain. So I think I might stick around here just a little bit longer. But I see a trail along the lake I'd like to ride. And I, and I, but I'd have to drive 22 miles into Chicago to get to a park area that looks promising. And then, and then uh, take a few roads and then get to the trail.